Hello everybody, welcome back. So today I thought I'd make a video of how to just start your tribe according to me of course. So there's different ways to do it but this is how I like to do it. So let's start a new game. So you can pick a lot of these areas and if you move your cursor to let's say closer to the real age or where we are now you will see you get a lot of changes that you can play the game in so if you want to have a easier game I would say you set it around here somewhere more difficult you go closer to the ice age and so forth you can see your area becomes very very small if you want an average game you start here in the middle you can also go and select either Mesolithic or Neolithic depending on what you want to play and how difficult you want it to be I really like Neolithic but uh, let's say for this one we'll start at Mesolithic now you will see the big changes in the map over here between the two can see a lot of changes and you will see on the map different changes you will see the trees differently and so forth and so forth so let's for now say we do Mesolithic you want to either start in the middle or as close as possible to the Neolithic as you can but let's let's start at 7 let's try to get it to 7000 BC there you go then uh, let's spring here you can also decide which month you want to start in let's start in spring for now and of course like I mentioned you can pick where you want to start I usually go in France but uh, you can go anywhere you want to so let's start the tribe and now this will also be important I'm gonna pause the game here quickly so first thing you want to look at your leader see she's very good in charisma her fitness not so much but the important thing is your policy she is actually not too bad so you can see you can put your labor age very far and even your labor time in the beginning this is very important to me because you want everybody to work and start your your tribe so this is not too bad that you can start with so she's really not a bad leader because of uh, the policies that you can set so this is something I look for now the other important thing that you want to look for is this you can see her toolsmithing is exceptionally bad that means you're gonna have a bad time so what I usually do you want this one to be a little bit better when you start off so that's one thing I look for and another thing that I look for is you really want to have a river maybe even a lake or something in your area so usually I will go here there's three rivers that lake is a little bit far but I will have three rivers where I can fish which could make me last longer before I have to uh, migrate or start farming even but I don't even think there is farming in the Mesolithic but I'm really not happy with their tool smithing so what I will usually do is here I will say okay let's start a new game same time and let's just see if we can get somebody that's a little bit better at tool smithing you can see again here very poor so maybe you won't even get somebody that's better so let's try one more time a little bit better okay so let's not waste time but that's something you will have to look at depending on how difficult you want your game to be so okay so then you migrate to the area that you want like I said I really personally like to have the free rivers because I don't really like to migrate a lot so let's move to that area but you can take any river you want to even bends like this and so forth or even a lake but you want to have as much fish or maybe clams as you can possibly get and I didn't even look at the policy so this leader at least is also not bad move to your area let's just wait for it to load in ok 
Okay, still waiting for it. There you go, of course they will sleep outside because I have not uh, done anything yet. You can see there they have stockpiled everything that they brought with them here and so forth. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is search for a good area where you want to start everything. I would like where that three rivers meet. Let's just see if I can find where it is. It's down there. So with the free rivers, I have free areas where my people will fish, which will which will help me a lot, and I will have a lot of uh, reeds, which you really want for your homes later on. You also want some trees for wood chopping and so forth, for wood that you need. So you don't want your people to go too far. As a bonus, if you can get some rosehip plants close by, that will definitely help. So for now I can either build this side or that side because of the tree. So let's just see for an area that's, this one is not that flat. So at this stage this area looks a little bit better. So what I usually do is I create groups. So important is you definitely want a wood chopping group. But you're going to take one, per, it's zero out of one. So I'm going to take, take away that person. Crafting group is important. Fishing group. Now you don't have to create the groups in the beginning. Or, or I usually create them in the beginning. But you don't have to. You can let the community do the work. Or you can specialize. So I like to specialize. You have a little bit more control than what you have with the community one. So the, the, the wood chopping of course that's self explanatory will be people that only chops wood crafting will be people that only craft fishing is only fishing now the gathering group you have a lot of leeway that you can do with this one that's why I usually make three of those and hunting group you want one so the gathering groups are usually and a lot of you that have been with me for a long time will know that one of the groups I call builders but they're not only builders, they, they also help help out the tribe if they need some raw materials or food. They will always help um, to get some of that. Now usually you can start with 4 or 5, depending on how big your tribe is. The next one I usually call the food guys. Like I said, this, this group is the most uh, flexible one. For example, you can use this same group to, and I will show you guys now. I'm just renaming them. So this one will, this one will concentrate on running the village. The food guys will gather food, and in the last one, I usually call raw, because they are my raw material guys. But in winters, they also help with uh, with food and stuff. So I don't have anything to chop wood currently, so that's why I make that one zero. Crafting, I usually put two people in the beginning, then five, 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 and then hunters. I don't have anything to hunt with currently, because you need the tools to do that. Okay, so after I've created my groups, I will then tell my builders they are going to help at this stage, and they are going to get some stone for me. The raw guys are going to get some sticks for me because that's the two important things to when you begin and then of course the food guys will try to get everything so if you click here we can even tell them to gather some of the flax and some wheat and then of course the food that we can eat now which is berries mushrooms but at this stage it shouldn't be any mushrooms beetroot pulses Clams, there might be clams in the river, roots, hazelnuts, rosehip, definitely not the season yet, but I usually just turn it on, honeycombs, and you can say raw meat, maybe there's animals somewhere that just died where they can use the meat, and then uh, the raw guys, I already said you put food there, so in the beginning I don't give numbers here, 
because uh, I want them just to gather now. So the first thing I do is you tell your builders to build a fire for you. Now here's the thing, you can have the big fireplace that needs sticks, logs and stones. Now we currently don't have any logs, we are gathering sticks and stone, but uh, we still need logs. So start usually with the one that only uses sticks. You pick your area that you want to have and where you think you will expand to, maybe expand uh, horizontally or vertically depending on or let's rather call it north, south, east, west, whatever. And then you put your fire down. I usually give it high priority, which means they will try to push this fire very quickly. And what you can also do is, in the beginning, if you look at the stuff that the tribe brought with them, let's just see where it is. I have six leather. So that means that technically I can build my first home which is uh, the pelt hut. So you can decide, you rotate with R, you can decide where you want it. Let's for this exercise say we're gonna go sideways, not up and down like I usually do. So let's add that hut over there, also high priority. All the important stuff like your baskets and that stuff, I usually put high priority, which means when it breaks, they will fix it quickly. Okay, so now it's still night, so they will wait before they start. But the fire and the house is priority. And what's also important is to quickly um, do your stockpiling. So you go, you click, you tell your bills, okay, or storage area. I usually, now here at the bottom you will see there's polygon where you want it freehand circle square i usually use squares but let's for this time use a circle i've never used a circle so just so i can see how it looks so it's a normal nice circle let's for now put uh, at least three of them now see why i like the square is you have a little bit more control of how they look let's put four of them for now so then you decide what you want to stockpile or store there. Now the first things that I usually use plant fiber, stone, sticks of course. And because we know we're going to start building soon you want a straw one. So this is the four important ones. Of course later you will have a lot of stockpiles. And what we can add technically do now maybe is to get uh, the leather closer, but we will change that a little bit later. So let's add another stock storage area, just for them to bring the leather a little bit closer. And let's put the leather there. Okay, so let's start. So you want to click on this so that the nights are getting skipped because you cannot really do or see anything at night let's quickly just rush it a little bit and of course policies like i mentioned you want your policies in the beginning when you start the tribe to be as far as possible as many people as possible to start working and so forth the graphics is really looking good after the graphics update. I think I did put it just, I just want to quickly check. I did, okay, this is currently full. Let's see the difference that the if we put it a uh, max, it still looks amazing. But you really need a good PC. You can see the fire is done now. So a lot of the people will come and sleep here close to the fire. You can see they are preparing my stockpiles over here, there's the sticks, there's uh, the other stuff that I had, uh, not reeds, yeah, no, no, not reeds, that's uh, grass and stuff that I have, or straw, they have started stockpiling the stuff here and they should slowly with the fire here, now start sleeping here, they are catching fish, 
what I forgot to mention is the fishing group and I didn't take it off will catch fish um, because they can catch with their hands while you don't have other tools but it's not very effective but they will catch some fish so let's leave them while we are trying to get food so what I usually do is I do turn not this one also not that one I turn this on to see what food I have available for the guys now you can move this around so you this is how you can handle your groups you can see your people how many working you have I have zero idle so I am if you look at my groups a little bit pushing my tribe I have m way too many people usually it's four each that that I do not five well, there's also four usually I don't have fishing in the beginning I have crafting so what you want to do very quickly with crafting as well so you want to tell them to start crafting ropes usually I go way high but for now let's say 20 and then 20 of the fine sticks as well which you're going to use for tools then let's go to tools you really want spears as soon as possible let's make that 20 as well and then of course buy faces with which they will use to cut material let's put that on 20 as well and what you do now you can see the first house is done we have a lot of sticks so now you can go to your raw guys and say listen i want some of the other stuff as well let's start with the straw for now let's say 150 sticks 100 but you can change depending on how you feel then the stuff that we need for tools let's quickly add those two we want at least 10 now this number is what they will try to maintain the whole time so even if they use it they will still try to get back to this number let's try to get some bone we don't really need it yet but if we can get some of that let's take it mud currently i don't think we have any use for that then of course plant fibers will become very important let's put that on 50 and let's see maybe they can get some logs for us let's also put that on 10 stone we're not really going to use a lot of that but depending on what you have you can push this as well so let's go to our let's see if they can gather the stuff they are getting some of it so you can see we've already have four uh, three spears there they are getting the buy faces ready and you can see a lot of food so let's see if our what we can do with our building guys so you can take that stone off now if you need anything like for example food is coming in very slowly we might want to Let's send them to help getting food but first let's see what we can build so we can build the first small straw hut we can build a stack we can build dryers and stuff that we will do as soon as we start hunting no not really any farming yet but we'll check that out now because we cannot make a farming group yet so let's just check we still need that knowledge so you cannot make a farming group yet okay let's go back to our builders so really in this beginning you have very very little to build I cannot even really protect my food at this stage I have nothing that I can build that will protect my food so they will store it in close to the fire as you can see up until you get the knowledge which will come with either migrants or as you continue doing what you're doing the knowledge will grow slowly but surely and of course you have seen the knowledge that I, that I spoke about you have fishing um, house building food processing hunting leather work stone works tools you can see that green means they are actually learning a little bit more of it so what I usually do to help me is I uh, take, tell my builders 
to build, try and build, where is it? Fences, just small ones. For example, a stick fence. Let's build a small one up here. Let's say for just a small one. I made a mistake there. Let's just get it back. A small fence like that. Let's go back and maybe a small stone fence because that will help with uh, woodworking and stoneworking even. Why did that now not work? Just a small one to so that they have something to fix the whole time and they will of course then uh, keep and get that knowledge and then of course you will have to start with your next houses as well so that you can get the house building up just put it over here remember the high priority thing for the important stuff now you can see one of my people became an adult. Let's for interest sake see if anybody we have one pregnant person. It would be nice if you click on it that I will go to that person. Let's uh, just skip ahead. So now start preparing. You can for now build a haystack very close to where you want to build your high houses so let's for now put it here at the back also make that high priority we can also start preparing for fishing and hunting since we have nothing else that we can actually build so I usually put about three of them in the beginning two for fishing one for hunting also always do the high priority thing you can see a horse running up there and then of course you want two of the pelt tanners as well for for the pelts that they will then uh, get as soon as you start hunting but it is very early now um, I cannot do a lot you can see this knowledge I still and you can see what I still need. I'm very close to building bits. But I still need a little bit of knowledge to do that. The farming I am also very close. Or the fresher at least. Benches I still need a little bit of woodwork. I can add some uh, standing torches if I want to. So let's do it. Let's add two of them. Close to the arts. Just so they have a little bit of light. See what else we can do. Fires. As, as the tribe grows I will add bigger fires. As soon as I can I will also build this fence. And then the religion. You can put the offerings. Maybe because they are still very early. Let's put uh, about three offerings there. But I'm not going to push those. And in graves, as soon as we see somebody is close to dying, we will build a grave. But uh, that's not important for now. People will be unhappy up until they have... There are, at least everybody has some shelter. So, and this uh, small lot is not going to make them very happy. And as you get knowledge, you will see or finish stuff. It will pop up here in the corner. This house is almost done. They are still gathering straw, so I can continue building. One art is done. Let's go for the next one. I am going to destroy this huts as soon as we have better ones or bigger ones. But uh, for now, to as we wait to get the knowledge, we have to build what we have. Some people still sleeping outside.
see what they need most likely a rope so what you can do is you can tell your craftsman listen you only want them to create a rope for now just so you can push your houses but uh, that all depends on how much micromanagement you want to do but micromanagement is important specifically in the beginning and late game becomes very very important stockpiling as well you can see they are putting stuff everywhere the haystack is also complete I still need to complete that but that's because of a rope most of these should be because of ropes now okay fine sticks okay and fine sticks let's uh, push those two for now so currently our tribe is 14 people and one of these huts takes how much two people and the uh, pelt hut takes three so I'm gonna need a few of these houses for now I could start hunting now but because I have so much food currently it, it's going to be a massive waste to to continue or to do hunting and add more stuff the only thing that hunting will help me now is to build more pelt huts which is also unnecessary I think now um, in winter I would rather but that's my personal opinion is start with hunting and fishing when all the other food becomes very scarce let's continue getting some huts out what you can do is if you see animals start coming for your food is you can uh, build the fences around your food to protect it a little bit but for now they are stockpiling in the middle of my village so I don't expect any animals I'm pushing the houses a little bit which I usually don't, don't do but let's go priority wise on, on each house this one is high priority Bo all of them will be high priority but let's try to push one at a time always indication if you need more houses is you will see the people sleeping next to the fires then you know you still need some houses so what I can do to protect my food currently and let's 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 do that for now is let's quickly tell our building guys but they are a little bit busy so let's make this a community thing so how you do the community thing according to me is you don't select one of your groups you just select build select whatever you want to build so let's put a fence here somewhere not a fence uh, a gate let's put the gate let's put it over here let's get the rest after they've built that we will put the food stockpiles in there and then no animals are supposed to be able to to go in there and your food should be safe it's not going to be safe from the elements but it should be safe from the, the animals at least you can see a pig very close by he really wants to get some of our food over here but because it's in the middle of the village currently he is a little bit afraid of coming closer but they will definitely eat eat your food if they have the opportunity to do so 
can see that pig is not going anywhere. At least the people are sleeping at the fireplace, so the pig should think twice before he tries to eat the stuff. We'll just see as soon as they have finished either it looks like they have finished the safe area except for this so let's just wait for them to finish the, the gate after that's done we'll put the stockpiles in for the different foods we don't want to do that before they they finish because that animals will definitely go and eat your food so let's see what stockpiles we're gonna need the rosy root and definitely hazelnut for now and maybe fish still about six people so i'm gonna need at least two more of these houses i finally completed one of the dryers so you click on the dryer, you click on the wheel and you decide what you want to do. Like I said, I usually do two fishing and one normal meat for hunting. After I finished, very close to finishing. Okay, they are done. Let's put our stockpiles or storage areas. Now this time we're going to use the square. Let's add a big one for hazelnut, big one for rosy because rosy will definitely start to become more. Let's add a small one here for beetroot, Let, let's put it there. Let's put the, where is it, hazelnut, rosy. This one we said will do normal berries. Oh no, beetroot because I don't see any berries. And then we'll add a big one for fish as well. Of course we will do raw fish and we'll do where is it now and we'll do dry fish and let's add one for meat as well so dry dry meat and we'll do a small one for raw meat As we get other stuff we will add it like we do have a lot of uh, roots so maybe add another one for root as well put it up here some roots and let's see if they do it if the animals are, can come in there they're not supposed to but let's see how they do So you can see the houses are finally getting up. Okay, we have our first migrants. So let's see. In the beginning you can take them on if you think you have enough food and stuff, which we do. Let's see what knowledge they bring. So this guy brings hunting knowledge which we really want and then the child actually brings some fishing knowledge so it's very good let's take the two of them in
and it's one extra worker that we have which we will currently um let's put him maybe both of them but let's see let's put them into crafting or at least one of them we really need a crafter and let's put the other one maybe on raw material if the child can actually work now but we will soon find that out doesn't look like the child can work yet so let's uh, take one away here so they are now taking starting to put the food where we told them to put the food and it should be safe from animals here at least it's not gonna be safe from the elements unfortunately but up until we have baskets or the pits that we can dig this this is the best that we can do let's make it high priority as well okay not maybe not make this one high priority now they are still building this one like I said, you could go another way, do hunting, get more pelts now and build the pelt huts. Which is uh, three people versus two. But like I mentioned, we already have too much food. Um, so I'd rather leave the hunting and fishing for, for winter. build another house the important thing is we really want to get our people some shelter And we could actually maybe add another fire as well. Let's make that also high priority. They're doing really good on the creation of the arts. See how many arts do we still need? It looks like I have enough arts. Okay, so that's how I start, guys. Um, but you don't have to do it the way I do it. This is just how I start my village, and uh, yes. There's different ways of protecting your food, stockpiling your stuff so that animals cannot get it. And now as your tribe has settled, have enough houses, you want to build at least one or two extra. And now we can create baskets. So at finally we can now technically start protecting our food with baskets. But that's how you start a village according to me, specifically Mesolithic. Not a lot of changes in the Neolithic, but usually you do have baskets and pits already. But this is how you start with the tribe when it's very, very young age. And that's it, guys. Um, I am considering making seasons again, like I did in my previous videos. The only problem currently is they are pushing out the update so fast that I'm going to struggle to build story. So I might wait up until March after the, the release of the game where I can then start the season where I know there's not going to be a patch every second week or every month where I can build nice stories and stuff. So I don't know what you guys think. Do you think I should wait or do you think I should try to and see what we can do with how the game currently is? What do you guys think? Thank you guys. If you liked the video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.